Yeah. Hello, I'd like to welcome all back to Super Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which the title screen will actually tell you right now. Thank you, title screen. You're amazing. Anyway, last time we were at this guy. We are at the gate, making our way up the mountain, down by the mountainside. Let's see what this guy wants, anyway. Unfair. Yeah, this is a... Glad they stopped doing this after this game, for the most part. No! It's gotta do this to get... through the game. Thank you for the very inconvenient spawns. That's a bit better. <laughs> Let us begin! Wrong pillar, Mario. I wanted you to attack the other one. Thank you, Luigi. At least you're good. Whew. Whew. By the way... Here's something I haven't explained yet. If you perform these attacks enough times on the B level, on the 3 level, you get an advanced version. This takes more than 20 times on most of the skills, so... I'm not gonna get them. Ah! Mm. Angry! Angry! Yeah, you would do that twice, wouldn't you? Hmm? You Joe Schmo. This goes away. I guess how it goes. You smart ass. Here you go. Are oh, you gonna fight me on the same field, eh? Think you can? Oh no! Woo! Poof! Woo! Oh, I get that he doesn't. I get that the towers don't do that. Ah, missed it. Wrong one, Mario, you schmuck. You done goofed. In fact, you didn't just goof. Like we're supposed to fight this boss, Mr. Mario. You get so puffy chest. Oh, yeah. It's slower it seems. Mario. My no. God. What the fuck? <clears throat> Controller. You are not collaborating with me right now. Arrow keys are better at this. Heck, there's nothing stopping me from just, you know, doing it end proper. No, I just... Yeah, there you go. Good job, Luigi. God. No! You idiot! Ugh. I never thought that the aiming would be the problem in this game. But apparently it is so. Really? 
So they have their own health bar, but only if the dude's under it. That's super weird. Well, at least I'm going through without too many hits. What? What? <laughs> this is my problem. This game has really weird bro moves. They're not... They're not like the... If you play the other games, these are super weird, and they feel very weird. They feel off. They just don't feel like they should work. And it's also the fact that this controller means that I keep missing my moves. That in particular is quite annoying, because I need to attack this in a right order, which is, by the way... I might do that still. But not as much. It's not like this. Where you, like, swear in a thousand languages over it. But hey, I managed to avoid many of his attacks. Let's just go for them. I guess using the special attacks might not have been a good idea, because it apparently takes more time. Great. Another reason not to use bros moves, I guess. What are you getting today, Mario? Because I'm defense. You want some defense? And you're getting none of that. You want a mustache? Well, you're not getting a mustache. <laughs> oh, great. I get the one. I hate the one. I want to use save states, but I'm not gonna... Mystical Ledge! We did all of that for a ledge. I hope you're happy. <sighs> Man, am I gonna be happy once I get to play the sequels? Partners in Time is gonna be great! Except for the controls, because this is still not an actual, you know... I really wish I knew a way to record DS games on an actual DS, because I would be kicking. Because I can tell you that this is not going to work. I'm too used to the yield and fashion. And maybe it's just getting into it, because it's so much different. Really? Why is there a button? Like, why did you need that button, is the question. Oh, great, it's a Rex. You know what I was thinking? Let's go fight a Rex. It does tell you the enemy names, which is the best part. Oh, wow. And Luigi gets his level up. Anyway, you actually don't get beans just by digging around. And in uh, Bowser's Inside Story, you only had hard beans for health, uh, special beans for special powers, because it wasn't called Bro in that game, and power beans. Um, what to pick? Well, he's a little bit average, isn't he? Let's go emphasize on his good side. Oh, he gets a big-ass three. Look at that. Look at that smarmy mustache. He knows what's up. He knows he's doing right. Uh, let's see, uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, you get wool beans by... <laughs> Let me hold this one. Wool beans are gotten in battle. Key beans are found in mini games. Chuckle beans are found underground, and who beans, not who, W O O, is the battle one, and H O O, is found in invisible blocks in dead ends. Guess what kind of happy go lucky time we're gonna have? Wow! Wow! Sorry, I'm just so used to knowing the exact moment to attack that the whole switching thing is going to be a problem. Finish him off, Mario. Give him a good old bump on the noggin. And so, noggins were bumped. I suddenly remember, there was a reason I used to play many of these games on keyboard. Oh, I see where this game gets the cut of its jib. see, I'm just too fat to chump. Gah. Gah, focus. Whoop! Boop-a-doop-boop-a-doop-boop-a-doop-boop-a-doop-boop. 
Not many colors in this, but it might just be the... No! Wario Land did very nice tricks with colors. Like, this is so flat. Could have been a Game Boy Color game, of all things. Well, that's just me. Maybe I'm just very complaintful. Maybe I have fury. I just never knew. Or maybe I had Chiduri. Because you can't go back for some reason. In case you're that kind of type. In case you're that whacked kind of person that likes going back into tornadoes. Also, notice that when the syrup is obtained, it the little drop shoots out up into the sky. This time we know what targets to pick. This time we got the skills. Or Gosh darn it, Luigi, you're getting fired. Look at that. I'm five seconds away from just ditching the... Gosh, you shouldn't play these kinds of games with a joystick anyway. There's a reason these are done with digital input pads. For precision. Unfortunately, I'm playing with my 360 controller. Which I use for things like borderlands. Have we seen nuts yet? Because I think nuts are very powerful in this for in this game compared to others. So used to the. Ah. I don't know why. I never have those issues in other games. In the other games, maybe they got rid of the whole different timing thing, which is kind of, kind of a derp, derp move in a way to have enemies have different timings, but having them attack in a similar pattern. Yeah, the brother will never fall off. They will only land on the ledge you're currently standing on, so don't concern yourself with that. A little tidbit. This is kind of sour. What it also might be is that the game actually scrolls through enemies. Which I don't think it does in future endeavors. Yeah. It scrolls through. I don't think it does that anymore in Dream Team. Gosh! Why is Mario always the one that I fail with so much? I think it's because Mario is closer to the enemies themselves, meaning that his window is a little bit smaller, and he's also in the back, which is slightly more difficult to anticipate. So all in all, Mario is, for me, the more difficult one to dodge with. While Luigi always wins. Like, I'm not kidding. Mario get his ass whooped, and Mama Luigi picked it all up and carried it all the way to the end. And then had a little chuckle to himself. In Dream Team, by the way, I know that it's like Luigi is a special cat. He's not. Luigi's a fucking derp in that game. He just sits around sleeping, and in the battles in that, yes, he falls down and is pretty much all the special moves, but he doesn't actually do anything in the battles. Oh, Mario technically does use him for the hammer attack, but it's another thing entirely. And by Jove! Get some power, Luigi. You are the weakest link. If I ever had to pinpoint a weak link, I'd point you out any day of the week. Oh, look in the background. That's Peach's castle all the way over there. You see that? It's above Luigi. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Oh, not interesting details. Okay. Guess 
you won't be getting that. Aw oh, man, I'm not leaving without that. Okay. Doing some free flight spins. Always do your pre flight spins, kids. Never know when you need them. Hey, we got some syrup. Whoop. Save box soon enough. I hope so, because there's a boss coming up. Look at this. Look at how nice this looks. This is so detailed! Anyway, you can see pretty much all the areas we're going to. There's the desert, there's uh, the Bean Castle, the islands we'll go to. I think that's the Frozen Fortress we'll eventually visit. There's the airport and the Hu-Yu University. I don't know. That might just be something. And there's the Chuckle Forest. Lots of places. Going places, meeting people, Dunder Mifflin. We're not gonna save until we use our items and recover all our health. Hey, Luigi actually has enough health to use a full mushroom. Except that he will be dead in order to use it, but... Whoop! Summit arrive. Uh, would you... Would you... Whoop! <laughs> Loblin Adam. Oh, blah blah, I get it. Unfortunately, it's an evil egg. Look at that nose and that smile. Lots of creepy smiles in this. <gasps> Anyway, boss time. But I kind of miss the goo goo. That was the best part of uh, the olden games, the goo goo from Partners in Time. Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah, I guess that we have to look for his head, don't we? Huh? <laughs> hey, he just got a five out of it. Okay, so if he turns his head, he goes for Luigi. If he doesn't, he's going for Mama Mario. I don't think I want that thing to be around, so let's go and bust it open. Ah, gosh. Mario, can you please be competent at your job? Five seconds. It's all I'm asking. It's a little bit of competence. Look at that. Look at how easy Luigi goes. That guy is smooth sailing. If I remember correctly, he has about 80 health. Good job, Mama Luigi. Yeah, he always gets to use it for some whacked up reason. The thing is, Mario's timing is much different than you might think compared to the other characters in the game. We better get a hard hit off or he's gonna make short work of us. Oh, 
Oh, we made short work of him. We've got a super mushroom. Mario says, Waha. Indeed, Waha. Because you're getting your ass whooped methodically, let's go put some points into the anti ass whooping skill. One. Amazing. And now Mama Luigi's getting an upgrade. Because he is the ass kicker of the team for some reason. Let's give him some P. It's a big old one to a nice, neat 25. Da 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 da! It's Prince Peasley! He does that a lot, by the way, and he has a little floating cloud. Cheers to your mustaches! How lovely. Incredibly dazzling. Yeah, he pretty much blinds you all the time. That that was a little floaty pillow thing. Look at that finger! <laughs> Is this Paper Mario where Mario sways his little finger after every battle? I love that. Such a wise mind. Of course, Luigi would be the one to be infatuated. Nah, I'm fine. Gosh, I have no idea why to find who beans. I'm very concerned. Because I need a whole smack of who beans in order to win, mind you. Right now, this doesn't actually do anything. We get a nut. That's awesome. We got a nut. Nuts, you both bros, because they're brotastic. The reason we can't use it on anything else is because this is the dig action we use to dig up beans, or to be precise, chuckle beans. Only Chuckle Beans, because this game is super weird like that. Just checking, milady. Checking for the beans. Gotta make sure you got none of them foreign objects. Also gotta make sure my bro is incredibly agitated at me. Because I am the winner, after all. Mm -hmm. Twirl that mustache. God, I can use the regular triggers. While we can, we also can't. These are different kinds of blocks. I was kind of hoping it was the reverse, but nope, it's not. Gotta jump on every corner of the street to find myself. What are them? Let me show you one of these nuts. It's a nut! And it's incredibly powerful! 20 HP! This is 
25. Let me actually look this up, because if I remember correctly, and I do remember correctly, because I am fantastic. Let's see. Nuts. Doesn't want to tell me. Let me just type it in. You think the Super Mario Week? Here you go. Yeah. Super nuts and ultra nuts. Wow. Wait. What was the item in... That's weird. But... Do 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 do. No. Yeah. I guess only in Dream Team they changed it to nerf them a bit, which is a good idea because nuts are really powerful. There's no real reason not to use nuts all the time. As of right now, this will kind of. Uh, yeah, we can't do much with it. In order to. Flash, uh, what's it called again? Flash Liquid Ultra Dousing Device for Flood. We're gonna need one of those. But lucky for us, Mario has already rehearsed for the part and can be his own Flood after an exciting adventure in La La Land. Still wish he didn't have that incredibly offensive Asian face whenever he did it. Yeah, Mario. Oh, there's a minigame coming up. To do or not to do? That is really a question. You know what? I've been nothing but slightly aggravated this episode. Anyway, we're trying to jump up and down to get ourselves some jimmy jim jooms. Mario will light up the area, but I think he needs to collect batteries. Luigi collects batteries? I guess you would be the one to collect batteries, eh, Mario? Batter E. Oh, by the way, the gems are color coded so they can know who picks it up. See? But I guess the, the batteries are always for Mario. I guess you would be the one to collect batteries, eh, Mario? Just oh, show you lost some Jimmy Jims. Mario, we lost Jimmy Jims. Why'd you do that, Mario? You messed everything up. Oh, in case I wasn't clear, I'm not doing any of this to get any special powers. I'm not good at minigames, and I have no intention of doing this unless you're saying, well, fine, go ahead and cheat. Ugh, oh, that was nerve-wracking. I remember the save states. Oh, the save states. But it might just be because I use save states. How did he get down here? No prize? Actually, we're fine.
Hey, what? Oh yeah, we're gonna learn about hammer combat. We haven't seen this backdrop, I do. It's a glitch, it's actually not present in the Japanese version. Also, in this game, your hammer can drop if you hold it too long, which is super weird for some reason. Unfortunately, you could drop your hammer. I don't know what he said. But hey, I don't care. I don't read the text. Anyway, there's the bean bean fields. There are some more rocks. Yes, there are upgrades. Bloody Paper Mario in here. I don't like Paper Mario, it's just that it's a little bit of an arbitrary idea. Then again, it works better in Paper Mario because Paper Mario is a numbers game. A numbers game at heart. Okay, so these are boos. We cannot do anything with them until we find a way to strafe. They're kind of cute. They're kind of neat. I kind of want to fight a spiny, though. Yes, you can hammer your way into battle in case you're that kind of guy. Who would want to be that kind of guy? <laughs> By the way, the hammers are a lot bigger in future installments, and when I say a lot bigger, I mean big. They're massive. Here they're like little conky hammers. I don't know why. This game feels so different compared to the modern ones, which are much better in my opinion. But hey, I don't know how to emulate them. Jump on them, you'll get hurt, even if it's an intro attack. Let's try this hammer this guy talked about. That's not too hard, I guess. A sharpie. Oh, that's easy enough. I think I passed college. Doing that. I'm an official college graduate. Congratulations. Let's get some more training in, you know? I'm so much more I'm much more used to the version in Dream Team where he actually holds the hammer back a little bit more. For no reason though. Just to get that extra bit of Maybe Who Beans just don't exist yet. Dr. Who Luigi, you walked face first into that guy. Oh, great. Yeah, good job, Luigi. Someone is getting fired. So is hammer damage varying or what? Also, hammers cannot be used to attack flying enemies. Kinda weird. By which I mean you literally cannot attack enemies. Also, I don't think you actually damage enemies when you use the hammer attack on them as an intro. You just stun them for a period of time. Yeah, see? You can drop your hammer. Gosh, I hate that. It's so weird. And that's the hammer head falling off. Which, unsurprisingly, there are badges to counteract that effect. So I want to make a retarded effect that no one likes without making an antidote for it. No, 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 no. It's weird, spitty ball guys. Weird, spitty ball guys. They spit balls because they're weird, spitty ball guys. I don't big this map is. Now we try and find our next save block. We're out. I'm not taking any detours either. 
Oh yeah, the city got blown up. I forgot to mention that. Don't worry, it'll get better. Eventually. Someday. Maybe. Hey, how you doing? Oh, the horror. So much horror. I won't make it stop. I'll make it smart. Oh no, the other bridge got destroyed. Oh yeah, look at that. You see up there? That shows you how much of a discount I get for having my mustache. Because of these things are incredibly overpriced. Or actually they're not. Uh, refreshing herbs are just make get rid of anything. I think that even in this game you can get rid of positive status effects. So you might not want to do that. Well, this guy looks weird. I just wanted to buy some fresh pair of pants. Get a, so get some equipment upgrades, you know. Oh, is this is this Starbeans? I remember Starbeans being in a different place of town, like up to the left somewhere. But if it's really here, then my memory needs to get a checkup. there are two parts to Bean Bean, I forgot. There's a right side and a left side. But, that's for later. I am going to stretch and etch and sketch. Render this video and upload it. Because that's the way things work around here. I'll see you guys next time when we're going to put these hammers to use. We're going to enter the castle and we're going to meet some people and fight a boss because this game has a lot more bosses than... I don't know, Dream Team just feels like it has a lot less bosses. Or it's a lot less obvious. Actually, it's really obvious, but it just feels like there's a lot less... Also, they brought back the Mega Battles, but at least they're a lot more tolerable than they were in Bowser's Inside Story. Those battles were awful. Arrgh, makes me run in circles. Now take your partner by the hand and spin him around. <laughs>